everyone, it's Karen from Lion Gate Farm and today I am going to teach you how to make this cute little piggy. He's got an armature in him so he can move his little legs and his little head. Um, teach you how to use a product called Power Wax and let's get started. Okay, so here we are. We're going to make this cute little pig and I'm going to show you everything that you need to make it. So you're going to need obviously core wool and then some black. This is black Coriadale, Raven Coriadale. And then this is the perfect pig pink. Um, it's a sliver that I got from DHG. A tiny little bit of red without the piece of my farm in it. You will need two 16 gauge wires that are eight inches long. So you want them eight inches long approximately. And then an 18 gauge wire that's about the same length, about eight inches long. All right, scissors, you might need those for trimming. You need your needles. I have a 38 star, 38 star spiral. And then I have my handy dandy pen tool. And then maybe a piece of ribbon to go around his neck and a little bell and then um, any kind of pencil or round tool to wrap your wool on. Might need a pair of needle nose pliers. And then this is something I use to finish the project. It's called, um, it's made by Powertex. It's called water-based cold wax and I will demonstrate how to use this. It does cool stuff. Like it makes his nose hard and his ears feel like actual pig ears and then his hoofs a little bit hard. So I'll show you how to use all of those things. So let's get started. We are going to take our two 16 gauge wires and we're gonna bend them at two and a half inches from either end. So two and a half, two and a half. And this is a little awkward, but it's the best way I can think of. Whoops, that's not quite right. They, these need to be even. And then you're just gonna take one of these and wrap it around the other one. I like to do the bends first to make sure my legs stay the right length. So it'll still look all like we have a little sawhorse going on here. So then you're going to take your, your 18 gauge wire and you're going to measure three inches. So you got three inches right there. Just make a little crink there. And then you're going to take it. This is why I don't worry about securing those two wires and you're going to wrap it around come out the back and there should be about an inch left oops not centimeters about an inch and that's going to be the tail this piece that's left up here it'll be the head this is his nose but we'll get to that later so that's your armature it's a pretty basic armature nothing fancy and we're going to start wrapping it so Got all my stuff in the way. You're gonna just, this, this is a pretty basic project. You're gonna take your core wool and we're gonna wrap this center piece. You can wrap this piece pretty tight. Remember, wrap flat. Don't let your, your wool twist. Keep it nice and flat. When you get up here to the front, you can go around a leg kind of configure it around a leg and then we're going to secure it. If you didn't have enough wool to do that, don't worry about it. We'll put it on later and then secure that. So now we have his little body kind of covered kind of, I'm going to do one more little pass. So it's even.
We're going to do a lot of wrapping here at first instead of felting. So we got that all on there. Okay, you got to stand up even. There it goes. All right, we're going to take another piece of core wool. And I'm going to leave my ruler here so I can give you kind of estimates. So this is like a 12 inch piece. I want you to split it in two. Maybe if it's facing up, it will help. And then you're going to make a little hot dog. Just a little hot dog. Just slide it off. So you have a little pillow here. And that's going to go on this side. And then we're going to make another one. We're actually going to make a total of three little shapes here. And that's going to go on this side. What we're doing here is building up his bellies, his sides. And you're going to lay him on his back. And this time I'm going to make a fat one because it's going to be his belly. Just a little bit fatter. This one goes here. And just kind of tack it on. So we have, you can see you got like this little hot dog creature going on. And then we're going to take a piece of core wool and we're going to draft it out a little bit. And I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to wrap it around. And you see, I didn't quite have enough to go all the way. A little bit more. So now what you have is this hot dog with legs and a head and a tail sticking out, pretty much. So before we do the head, no, I'll do that last. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is build up the legs. We'll do the head in a minute. So I have some six inch pieces. And I'm going to tear them in half, actually. And to build up the leg, you're going to hold it here, and then you're going to wrap it around and secure it. And then I like to go back the other way. Put my finger here. And secure it. See, we're making a little haunch here. Now I have a three inch piece. And I'm just going to keep going around. And it's okay that it builds up out here. Because we're building up his leg. So 
you can see what's happening back here is we have one leg it's getting built up pretty good now my little pigs have short legs you can see I'm not felting this super firm not yet so there you can see we've got one leg so now we're gonna go back here and do this one start with that little piece See, he's getting a little butt back here. Don't worry about forming that too much right now because we'll do more with that when we get the pink, his body color on, which is kind of a peachy pink, not super pink. Now we're gonna do the same thing we just did here up front. So we have a head and we're gonna wrap this leg. You can let this build up because that's going to make his shoulder. I'm going to switch to the 38 star because it's getting kind of hard for it to poke in. You might think that putting on a big chunk at once would make it go faster, but it doesn't build it up smoothly when you do it that way. So you wanna do the layers. So we have two little legs built up here in the front. All right, so now let's get a little bit of his head on. Tag that in a little bit. So remember, I said this is his nose. Let's, let me show you where we're at. So we want his nose to end probably right there. Just kind of keep keep that in mind. Okay, guys, stand up. All right, now for his nose, you're gonna take whatever color pink or peachy color you're using. And this is batting. This is um, different than roving. It's the ultimate felting fiber because they're all facing different directions. So remember where you turned where you want his nose. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna wrap the pink. You can do core wool. I like to do it in the color I'm gonna do his nose in. And if you saw I wrap that curve, and now I'm gonna go around. This is very tight.
I went out past the curve a little bit. And now I'm going to secure it. And then you're going to poke in this end. And be careful, you have a wire in there. You can work on your pad. Just remember, I have to work up a little higher because I can't bend my neck yet. All right, so we got a little nose going on on there. See, it doesn't look like much right now, but it will. All right, so now we're gonna go back to core wool. And you're gonna wrap, you're gonna secure it to his body. I don't really have much neck they just go straight into their head. And you're gonna wrap, you can cover up that nose just a little bit. Remember, when you're making animals or anything, they always look like dinosaurs before they look like anything else. But he'll get there pretty quick. Let's wrap one more. I'm drafting out my core wool a little bit. Let's wrap one more on here. I feel like I'm bandaging up his head. Now you can keep wrapping the way I just did, but I'm gonna show you a better way. Well, it's not a better way, it's a different way. Um, to make his head wider. So take your core wool, about a six inch piece, split it in half, and then I'm using my finger. You can use your tool, make a little pillow, and it's gonna go right here on the side of his head. Same technique we kind of did for his body. This is just to make his head wider. Let's take the other half. Don't wrap it on your finger too tight. <laughs> Put this on the other side. You can already see his head's gonna get fatter. Take another piece. Now we're gonna wrap it. That's the fast way to make his head fat wider. And then round. So it's kind of an oval shape. Now, if you notice, he doesn't have a chest right here. Same technique. Take a little piece, probably six inches, and we're going to make a little pillow. That's going to fit right in there. I'm not worried about all these seams and things because they will go away as we add the color to our little piggy here. But you can see he's getting there starting to look like a pig. So now I'm going to poke on him for a while and get him all smoothed out. Oh, let's see. Yeah, his butt is looking good. So the next piece we're going to add is this little tail. You're going to, again, you're not going to use core wool. You're going to use the pink of your choice or the pig color of your choice. And you're gonna secure it at the base. This you wanna secure pretty darn well. And we're gonna wrap it super tight on this little, now you don't want a lot of wool. I 
went all the way to the end and now I'm going to bend that wire. This is where you might need your needle nose to pinch that. So if you see I've got his tail and then I'm going to wrap back down. I'm just going to let this pink go into his body. And then we'll curl that up here in a minute when we're done. All right. So now he needs his short little legs need feet. You're going to go to your black wool. If you can find the end. And it's about six inch piece and I'm going to split it. So what we're aiming for here is this little black foot. It's not a little hoof like they have, but it's just a, a little whimsical foot. So I'm starting at the base of his leg there, and I'm wrapping down, thin, wrapping down. Okay, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip up probably, I'll measure it, about a quarter of an inch. hard for you to see what I just did. Well, we'll do it three more times. And then squeeze it a little bit. And now he's got a little hoof there. You want to wrap it. You want his hoof to be about a half an inch. And you know, you can take this back up his leg. So you don't have to worry about fussing with it down by his foot, tack it into his armpit or something. And then we're gonna... Now, I didn't get fat enough down there. You need it to stay pretty fat down here. It's about a pencil width. purpose of bending the wire now the, the goal here you're gonna be able to you're gonna need to get all four legs that same length so you can kind of pre-bend them let's do the front one first and then we'll move to the back ones If you try to put these on after the pink, you have nowhere to tack it all down. Again, I went around the corner. I'm gonna bend, I bent it up. Now I'm going back. I make that hoof a good size. Try to make sure they're the same size. This one needs a little bit more. And I'll just tack it in. No one will see this once we're done. The 
melt them a little. We're going to treat the feet, the nose, and the tail with power and the ears with the power wax at the end, which will make them nice and solid. So now you kind of got to figure out how much do you have to turn under. I'm eyeballing this. That looks like it'll be about right. So I have that much wire I can turn under back here. draft this out a little bit. This is the finickiest part of the whole pig. These little feet. If you can get through the feet, you'll have a pig. Remember, keep it flat while you wrap. I probably sound like a broken record, but it's really important. Tear off your extra. Let's tuck it all in. Remember, only a little bit of this foot's going to show. Last one. By now, I hope you're getting an idea. If you get stuck, ask us questions. We'll try and help you. You can always message me on Lion Gate Farm Facebook page or on Instagram and on YouTube. Alright, we have four little feeties. There we go. Four little feet. I'm going to take a little bit of pink just so I can show you what's going to happen here. You're going to bring it around over top of that black. You need a tiny piece here. I only like a little bit of his foot to show. Not quite enough. Your pig doesn't have to be pink. It could be white with black spots or it could be brown. I like to make pink ones. 
So go through and cover all four legs just like this. And then we'll get to work on his head. All right, so we're wrapping this leg. Going down. Let me secure that in. Take another little piece. Come around, build up his shoulder some more. You may notice that your pig is getting a little skinnier as you're poking him. So you might have to add, this is where I add with the color. Okay. I like just a little bit of that hoof sticking out. So now I've, I've got, I've wrapped around each leg. I've come up, I'll show you again on this one. Take it and wrap it up and around, just like we did with the core wool. Bless you, Stuart, my cat just sneezed. Now let's check out his butt. We're gonna finish his butt off. Put this black away. I'm gonna wrap a piece down here, come through the legs. You can see I'm stabbing from the tail. I'm trying to make it round make it, you know, slope into his leg right there. Look at pictures of pigs. It helps. Mine are always whimsical. They don't look real. Let me put a piece on the other side. Notice I'm leaving all this fringe up here on his back. And we'll poke that all in. Take this piece down and around. Again, around. Remember, felting is learning how to push the wool into the shape you want it. Remember, there's a wire in there. You can probably hear me hitting it. It's a little choppy right here, so I'm going to add some wool to it. Remember, you can always add, you can't take away. It's better to start with less. So there we have a hind end. It needs a little bit more there. I can see the core wool. Sometimes I think I'm seeing core wool, but it's just a shade in the pink. Okay, 
Okay, next we're gonna put some on his belly. You can do a fairly large piece. Just wrap this around. If you like this color, later this week, I don't know when, um, when I find a minute, I have 17 new colors that I'll be adding to the website, and this is one of them. It's the perfect pink color. You can see we're getting him all colored up here. Let's color his back. That might be a little too much. I don't want to go hog wild, no pun intended. Let's just keep felting along, adding our colors. And then we'll get to the head here. I wanna get these all nice, get his body nice and smooth before I do the head. Okay, I've been working on this guy for 20 minutes or so. And I realized he was pretty long so one of the things I did is I scrunched him in and gave him pig wrinkles and then went back in and just kind of smoothed him out. So this is the point where you get, where you can start sculpting once you've felted him for a while. He should be firming up pretty good. And you can sculpt in his little leg muscles on the side. I haven't done the side yet. Nope, I have a little space there that needs a little bit of wool to make it smooth. So under here, you can see where his legs go and his belly. All of this is sculpted in. Now we're ready to work on his head, his giant marshmallow head. Okay, so our goal here is we have a round head and it slopes down into his nose. We're gonna add a piece for the mouth. So we already have the nose, so we're gonna start working from there. And this is where, you, again, kind of learn to push the wool. So I'm kind of picture in your head, okay, his eyes are going to be like a triangle to his nose. I'm trying to draw it with my needle so you can see it. And then we want to work the wool around. We're gonna add his mouth right here. I'm not too worried about what that looks like. It's 
So I'm trying to shape his head with my needle. I'm working it up. And by shape it, it means, so here I'm deeper. I'm not as deep. I'm deeper. Because I want it to go into this pig head shape. Keep looking to see if it's symmetrical. Like both sides are the same. So we're about there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make him a mouth for right here. And I'm gonna measure it for you. I like it to end just a little bit before the end. It'll probably be about an inch long. We're gonna make this piece right here. So we're gonna take a little piece of our pink, maybe a little bit more. And we're going to stab a ghost shape. I'm gonna leave fringe down here. So remember we, the stab line is to help us know where to fold it in. this piece pretty firm because it's his chin. So I'm going to flip it, flip it until the end of this is pretty firm. I like to do the edges. So it is a jaw. I can hear it getting pretty firm. So now you've created this little piece that's gonna fit right there. I don't wanna go all the way to the end. I don't wanna go past the end. I, I go a little bit inside. Let's use this fringe. I like to start getting it attached. Now we're going to cover the top of his head. It's like we're putting a scarf on him. Let's attach that. whole time we're putting this on we're thinking about the shape of his head it's like a little bit of a neck right there not much he's gonna need some more right there I'm gonna put this piece on this way and start at the nose. You're going to start to see what's happening here. You can see that the eyes are going to go there. This is the top of his head. Look what happened. His, his chin got out past his nose. We don't want that to happen. Let's go back down here for a second. Stay where I put you. Now, 
Now this is where I make, so we know his eyes there. And this is his mouth. I like to make him smile. So I'm gonna carve, here's a piece of somebody's farm in there. in some more. Looks like he's talking. a little white space right here that I want to cover up. You know, when you're covering white with a light color, sometimes if it's sunny outside, you can take your piece outside and you can see all the white spaces that you missed. So another piece of someone's farm. side to make it look like this side. That's where his eye's going to be. Even store-bought roving can have farm in it. I want him to smile. Take your time on the head. So this is one of the most important parts. It gives him his personality. Now, before I go any further, I want to put the ears on. So pigs have funky little ears. And we're going to, they're thin. So we're going to take two little stacks. And they're kind of shaped this. That one needs a little bit more. And just fold them in.
They don't have to be exact. We may use our scissors on them here in a minute. So we're going to keep flipping these until they become a nice thin little piece of fabric. So now you have these two funky looking ear things. Kind of play with them. Because pig ears are not like other animals' ears. They're kind of cauliflowery. So I kind of like that. So I'm going to stab it. And then right in line with the eye and the nose. I want you to attach it right here. With that little fringe that we left. Work it from both sides. So I'm kind of working the base of the ear before I even attach it. And then I'm going to scrunch it up again. Stick it on here. I know, and now I have this ugly spot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a piece of my body color and I'm going to go across. Cover that up. A little bit of glue. So I got his ears on. I got this piece all attached back here. Got this all smoothed out. And now I've sculpted out his face a little bit. Done some work under here. Got these big old cheeks right there. So now we're going to first do his nose. You want some nose holes here. You're working pretty shallow. Just kind of trace with your needle two little nose holes. And then remember I said you needed a little tiny bit of red? When I say a little tiny bit, I mean a little tiny bit. You're going to fill his nose holes in the red. It doesn't have to be red, red like this. It could be just a different, darker pink even. I tend to use red. Get in there. Gather it up with your needle because you're working in such a small little spot. And what when you're putting this in, what it does is it caves in his nose, which is what you want because their noses stick out further on the top. Okay, and then you can take your little bit of black. I want you to take out small amount of fibers. We're going to put it in his mouth. The line that we have constructed for his mouth. Just like wrap it around a little bit. It's going to disappear in there. OK, 
gather up those stray black fibers. You don't want those hanging out. Just want a lid like you're drawing with a marker. Then you need two little beady eyes. They're not quite round, they're more oval. If you want to get really technical, you can put a little blush or a little different color pink here on his cheeks. Now I'm going to demonstrate before we put the ribbon on. I'm going to move this all out of the way. This stuff is magic. Um, Water-based cold wax. It gives you finishing touch on all your projects. So I used to use my fingers and it looks really weird. But what I want you to do is put on his ears. You're like, what? You'll see what happens here in a minute. We may have to go back and do a little more felting at the base. What this is going to do is make his ears hard. Work it into your felt. I know, we'll cut all those off. You do have to wash your hands after you're done with this stuff. But it's wax. It comes right off. It's really, it's like wax and glue. But it gives you the best effects. And then pigs have weird noses, so let's put some on his nose. Because their noses are waxy feeling. Now the only thing about Power Wax is that it changes the color of your project just a little bit. So oh, we're gonna have to get some. Just wanna get it all in here so it can dry. Um, one of the tricks you can do is take a little one of those little tiny craft irons, and it will, and if you heat it up, it will work it deeper into the fibers and it won't change the color as much. It will dry pretty clear. But there's definitely, see this is a way you can get rid of all these little hairy fibers. Just work it into the fibers. I have to say I'm a power wax addict. I like it on hoofs. I like it on antlers. Sometimes on skinny sheep legs. You can see it's changing the look of the hoof. It gathers up all those stray fibers. I've tried putting it on with a brush. I just like being able to feel it better because I can feel it go into the fiber. Can't really feel it with a brush. On my website, I have a my favorite Amazon page. <laughs> There's a link to this stuff. It's not super cheap, but it's great. And put some on his tail. Okay, I'm gonna, his tail's not as long as I would like it. Oops, sorry, buddy. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna come back in a minute when he's dry and then show you what we do next.
Doesn't take very long to dry. Okay, our power wax is almost dry, so I'm gonna reshape my ears down here. It doesn't build up on my needles, so I don't really worry about it too much. I'm just reshaping. You can see they're already getting kind of crispy. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and trim them a little bit. But like I said, pig ears are kind of like cauliflower shaped. Just trimming all those little hairs off. And because this stuff is still a little bit tacky, you just tuck them in. Scrunch his ears just a little bit. I'm telling you, you're gonna be a power wax addict like me. You can do cool stuff. This mouth's almost dry. Oh, I have a little bit of fringe here we gotta tuck in. And then all that's really left to do is to tie his little ribbon. Oh, I didn't I didn't curl his tail. You're gonna, I'm not gonna curl his tail until it's dry. Um, but you want to curl the tail. And we're gonna tie a little bow on here. I'm not the best bow tire, even though I tie millions of them. I hate when they get folded right here. So we gave him a little black and white bow. I'll trim this off. And then I will glue on this little bell and he will be all done. This cute little piggy with his wrinkly ears because of our power wax and his nice little hard hoofs. And then we got to curl up his tail in just like another 20 minutes or so. Thanks for joining me today while we made our little pigs. If you have any questions, make sure you message me. Make sure you like our YouTube channel. Really helps us out. And you know, make it a favorite. If you need any supplies, head over to liongate.org and the farm store, and I'll be adding the pig color very soon and a whole bunch more. See you next week.